The day that I had the panic attack, it was a Monday morning, and so I remember feeling pretty average when I woke up for work in the morning. I started to feel at work, uh, the anxiety got much worse. It got to a point where I was pacing up and down on the path outside to the point where I was sort of shaking and couldn't, I couldn't really talk. Thought after thought that's just racing through, you can't really focus on anything else. It consumed me. I had my keys and I just took off. That was when I called the doctor along the way and sort of, I need to see a doctor. I was having really bad thoughts about being a massive burden to people at work. Wouldn't hang out with my mates. I felt like I was bringing my girlfriend down to this level of sadness and not wanting to do anything. My girlfriend had this sort of overseas trip booked with some friends. In my head, I thought, I'm losing my main support. I'm going to be lost. And on this particular night, I wrote this note. I was exhausted and I was sick of feeling this way. I don't see an end to this. Finally, I won't have to deal with this any longer. I was kind of pissed off that that's all that she was going to get from me was just this note. I logged on to Facebook to direct message her, so it felt more personal to me. We chatted to the point where I fell asleep. I was that exhausted, run down, and she had talked me completely out of everything. But it was, I suppose, just lucky that she was online that night. I finally admitted to the doctors that I had these thoughts because to me it was such an embarrassing thing. So I told them, yes, this is what happened. They're not going to judge you in that sense. They're there to help you. I realised as well with my girlfriend that I couldn't rely on the doctor and her for the whole time. If I wanted to change this, I also had to take this first step. There's going to be times when you're not going to have someone right there for you. There's going to be times you don't have your doctor there, your best friend or your family or whatever. It's almost like learning to ride again. You're off on your own for a moment, like you can do it, just keep balance. You may feel like not being here is, is your best option. It's the complete opposite. Now I realise that the effect that that would have had to my family, my friends, to work, emergency services and hospital staff, and then is the community as a whole is much better with you here. To have hope again, it changes your persona and it changes your view on what you're going through and it changes your motivation to getting back to how you used to be. It doesn't make you any less of a bloke to talk about it. This option that you're going to take is not the right option. You're not a burden. It's so hard to believe at the moment, but you've got no idea how good life is. And let me tell you, I know where you're at and I know how shit you're feeling, but things will get better.